My name is Rapsing. Welcome back to Dicey Dungeons, where it's time to finally win as the witch. Oh, no. Remember the witch? Ha. Well, she's back for some reason. That's because we didn't win last time. At least. <clears throat> At least get a better chance this time, please. Last time, the only thing that really tripped me up was my own play, though, so. <laughs> to be fair, the game may have actually been gifting it to me with RNGs on that run, but I just didn't capitalize upon it. Okay, extra cauldron, three, you die, you die, and throw. Slightly short. So the witch has the ability to duplicate and get extra die in a bunch of different fashions and obviously channel new spells. So I feel like there definitely has to be a way for the witch to kind of break, to generate far too many dice. That's what I want to see. Yeah, get out of here then. And don't you dare pick my raspberries. They're for me and my friends and not for thoughtless adventurers. We've discovered a new voice. <laughs> no, gee. Uh, is, I don't know, four. Four is a pretty contentious slot that I don't usually want to put things on. Then six. Uh, I'll make new cauldrons while I can get them, frankly. Thank you for the gift. I'll take a free four damage in a turn. Beautiful. Definitely leave Crystal Ball to get a little bit more value out of it later. You know, against an enemy that seems to pose a real threat to me. Rolling three die and having Ray Gun means a maximum nine damage from that enemy this turn, so I knew that it was a non-danger. Electric Shock versus Burning Light. Now, we took Burning Light last time. I found it really effective. Yeah. Electric Shock can only be used on a 2 or 4 or a 6, and Burning Light can be used on a 4 or 5 or a 6. So it just seems pretty clear. we got to go with the Burning Light again. Uh, pop that into the 3. So if I learn Magic Missile at this point, it'll replace Infliction, I think. There's Magic Shield. I think that actually might replace Nudge. So that it's on a even... Yeah. So that it's on an even in order to channel it, so that I have the ability to use it more easily. On the same turn I channel it. Alright. Use it in Stereo Head, get us our level up. Are there any elemental things that change what I should be doing right now? Also, actually, maybe I... No, I, I definitely want to leave the cauldron as the thing channels at the very start while I have very few dice and not all of my slots fulfilled. But I do better against enemies that are weak to fire. None of these enemies are weak to fire, so it's okay. Go with the crystal ball on turn one as well. Those sixes. Okay, let's create two burning lights. Hell yes, ridiculous amount of damage to the enemy. Uh, should I create a cauldron or roll? Roll the four. Put us in a good position. And we got some decent damage out there. I think I'll purposely take the two damage here. Yep. Get access to my crystal ball for later. Especially because the next fight is the fight we level up in, so crystal ball on turn one just seems like a great idea. Magic key, split a dice in two. There's also hex on even, you weaken on odd, you shock, and magic missile. Magic Missile is a decent amount of damage, but... 
Magic keys. Split a dice in two. I think that's some evens. It's just not that useful. Is it? It's only useful if I'm trying to generate a lot of low, low die cost spells, low pip spells, which I'm not really doing. I feel like I probably just avoid all of this. That said, even then, I feel like, you know, I can't just avoid everything the run offers me. Otherwise, I'm going to get to the end of the run and realize I have no way to win. Get a second cauldron here before I start doing my rerolls. Thanks. Magic shields can only use an odd itself, so it's never going to be a good option for me that turn. Ooh, hang on. Can I get a three, please? That'll do it. Enemy can maximum do, what, four poison to me this turn? Oh no, five. Damn it. Thought it was the four poison, so it would be the one, two, three in a cross, but it's actually one, two, three, four. That is the abilities the enemy can use depending on what they roll. Let the kill. level up so the damage that we deal is all from burning light so far but burning light upgraded just removes the minimum that you have to roll so that doesn't actually help me having an upgraded spell slot maybe i want to have a prepared spell slot of burning and surely i can rotate that prepared slot later anyway yeah i'm gonna go for the prepared slot both of those is cauldron right now. That gives me the ability to try and make burning light really early. I'm sure, I'll leave that. But then again, one of them should just be burning light if I'm using them just to make burning light. Might as well not introduce that middleman. Shock for the enemy, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll channel an infliction, I guess. Pretty dirty fight right there. Good roll on that six stereo head. Not going to be particularly useful for you there. Damn it, burning light. Maximum is a three. Oh no, I'm actually okay with that. Otherwise, this two is going to be kind of useless. Yeah, I want to get a new cauldron, I think. Then just throw the infliction. We'll hold on to the crystal ball for the next combat as well. We're taking a decent amount of damage here now, and with those weakens, we could actually... Ooh, both the cauldrons deactivated. That's actually fine, though. This is the turn to deactivate my cauldrons. <laughs> We've already got our own lethal. Hall of Mirrors, yes. Huge fan of this one. Uh, infliction's not a good way for us to deal damage. Our high dice are split in priority between whether they go into Burning Light or into Hall of Mirrors. Is a concern of mine. I'm going to override Infliction. Yeah, so that it's not competing for high dice. I also feel like I probably want a Hall of Mirrors channeled at the start of the fight. And now, is there anything in here that's more effective, given the fact that I'm using Hall of Mirrors and stuff right now? No, I suspect not. Okay, so only fighting a Sneezy gives me access to a shop as well as a chest. That's pretty... Pretty easy choice there for me, thanks. Okay. Let's make a cauldron and roll a two, happily. 
Okay, so I can make a burning light there and then a burning light here and then just throw three of those out. And frankly, I'm okay with it. Be a much worse turn. Unfortunately, the burn three doesn't affect the two new die the enemy actually manages to generate in their turn. Much more useful if it did. Straight for the kill, no messing arounds. Level up in the next combat, so we do have the focus for the start of it as well. Beautiful. Just trying to make sure that I have this formula down, the kind of like beat structure of how we should be doing this. Uh, freeze a die and roll a one, glass cauldron. Freeze a die and roll a one. Well, what do I do with a one after I roll it, right? I have nothing useful that this deck does with a one, so I don't think I take it. I'll learn it, but I should probably never use that one either. All right, Fireman. Ooh, six on turn one. Beautiful. Let's get a cauldron over there to re-roll this too. Really disappointed to see that there, but I'll get another Hall of Mirrors just in case it's useful next turn. Apparently, I have to throw two dice. Fine. Six and a two, only two rolls. Could have been worse. Uh, I can Hall of Mirrors this turn. That'll activate my Crystal Ball at the absolute least. Ooh, adds another Hall of Mirrors, and then, yeah, we'll definitely have lethal next turn now. Let's replace those Halls of Mirrors with cauldrons that might actually end up being useful. Uh, yeah, I guess the only thing I can really do here is generate a bandage and then be incapable to use it. Fine, we've got the full heal after this combat anyway. Make burning light there, make burning light there. I'm just making absolutely certain that I have this. Otherwise it'd be real embarrassing. Fireman. So it's kind of treating that fight very nonchalantly. All right, duplicate or double dice? Okay. So if Double Dice is upgraded, we can use it as a duplicate effectively, kind of. Uh, but that duplicate, uh, duplicate's too good. It's too good to ignore. The ability to reroll is nice, but I end up going away from cauldrons pretty early. No, I need the ability to reroll them. Otherwise, I can't get Hall of Mirrors or Burning Light off, and I have nothing useful to do with my low cost dice in the entire deck. Uh, it can't go on slot six, is the problem here. It's got to go on Magic Shields. Do we want to get an even dice? Yeah, that goes over the top of Cauldron. Good. Now that I'm getting evens, does anything matter here? No, nothing changes. Okay, so the base ones that we should have active, I feel like we should probably have a duplicate active as we go into a combat. Okay. I'd like if we could also get an upgraded spell slot and then, then I'm done. Then I think I'll be comfortable with all of it. Roll for, uh, there's a six for us. Uh, so I'm gonna Hall of Mirrors, get another one of those, duplicate. Two more die for the entire combat, thank you. And now I don't need those Halls of Mirrors anymore. 
So I'm actually going to set up a duplicate there. And set up another duplicate here. Because I can actually use that just to set up as many duplicates as I need. Lovely. So then I need to find a way to pivot that into damage later. So how do I find a way to pivot that into damage? Oh, I can't duplicate threes. Okay, so I can't make a bunch of burning lights, unfortunately. Okay, well... At least I get to make one of them. And if I roll any threes next turn, I can do more. That said, if I need to roll threes, I have a gold cauldron as my only reroll here, and that can't reroll to a three because it's odd, and the gold cauldron can only reroll to evens. That could end up being a little bit of a problem for us. I probably should have duplicated. Yeah, I should have duplicated before I did anything there. That's my bad. I'm going to duplicate to get... More sixes? I don't even need them, though. Throw them then. That'll have to do. As long as the enemy never gets a blight off. It's fine. That blight was as effective as if they just managed to use their lower poison. So I was thinking if they never got a blight off on an effective amount of poison, we were kind of going to be okay. And such a thing came to pass, thank you. Duplicate that. Burning light, burning light again, and then throw the sixes in. Yeah, it does feel like you can kind of create an economy with this character, like level up, power up at the start of the fight, and then pivot towards dealing a bunch of damage at the end. I just really wish I had something that was more damage. I just feel like a little bit short on that. That loud bird is a little bit of a problem because we usually only attack once and it's... Oh, actually, no. If we have a gold cauldron available at all times, that'll be fine against the loud bird's evasion. But if the enemy evades my gold cauldron, I think that means I don't get the even dice back because we've seen that before. Fight the sorceress first for whatever's in this chest. Can duplicate a five here, but what's that useful for? Burning lights? That's fine. Worth. Throws one of my dice, but that just means that I get a guaranteed gold cauldron. Which is fine by me. That gold cauldron currently probably goes over Hall of Mirrors. Unfortunately, the enemy has a pretty good hit going this turn. Oh my god, that is the maximum damage they actually could have done in a single turn right there. Terrifying. Especially considering I've got a couple more fights until they level up. Got HP at the very least. Alright. Magic Spear! Ah, there we go! Finally, some damage! Uh, so you need to roll the same number twice in order to generate this. Uh, I find it easier to roll twos, fours, and sixes. But I can't put this on a six. Because then I would need two sixes to unlock it, and then a six to use it, and sixes to use Hall of Mirrors as well. It's a bit much. I think I'm going to put this over bandage. But at the very least, we did get access to the damage I was looking for. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, 
I can have a magic spear actually is one of the things that I already have in the start of the combat. Interesting. It's probably still not what I put there because I do need to bolster my forces at the start of each combat, especially against fights that are going to be particularly long, like the loud bird who's going to evade all my attacks. Uh, okay. It's a lot of burning lights we could have done this turn. Ideally, I'm not going to be doing them though. Get these two gold cauldrons out, I think. Oh gosh, really? The game is being very cruel to me right now. I'm gonna duplicate that five and get a magic spear out, I guess. Need sixes though. Hmm. Get another duplicate active this turn? Seems like I need to leave Gold Cauldron active. I don't know. Maybe a Burning Light there. Well, you can't dodge at least. Sadly, I'm silenced though. Place those both up there in order to get a new gold cauldron. I think that's going to be important to make sure that I can use the magic spears. God! The enemy's constantly getting the ability to silence me and deal five damage. The maximum they can do while still weakening me, right? Because it's an odd. Uh... Hey! Do five damage at least. Three useful after this? Or is it six useful after this? I don't think either of them are useful after this. Yeah, it's still just a throw. Mm -hmm. At least I'm not attacked this turn. The enemy does fly, though. Do that, and yeah, we don't get the die back as a result of that dodge. Still not a huge fan of how that works. I'll duplicate that, not that it's gonna matter. Oh, actually, hang on. Beautiful. If they use both those fives for the squawk, then I'm not gonna be taking that much damage this turn. This is just the echo blast. Uh, we'll get this. Unlock both of those. Go for the crystal ball. Actual reasonable duplication right there. I've got magic spear. That was unfortunate. It's especially unfortunate because I would have had lethal this turn if I just used a gold cauldron first. I don't end up dying over that blunder. But it does actually look a little more likely than I would have liked. Still got to kill them. Still need one more before I live, though. Oh, and it's the Kraken. Yeah, I should get as much HP as possible. Well, I would have purchased it if it was available here. So this gives me the ability to invest some money. Uh, sorry, invest some die. We finally have stuff that will let me invest die. Uh... Is it important I have access to different elements? I think it is, so I'm not going to go Inferno. Maybe Lightning Bolt for that reason. Actually, maybe not Lightning Bolt, because Blizzard freezing a dice, like especially because it can freeze a six down to a one, could be really useful against the Kraken. And that's our six. Now I also need to consider, like, can I afford to get buff in the Kraken fight? Can I afford to have Hall of Mirrors and Duplicate be my openers? 
Or should I get Blizzard and Magic Spear to be my openers? I think Blizzard does need to be one of my openers, really. I think Duplicate probably needs to be there as well, though, so I can effectively use Blizzard. Oh, God. Hopefully I have enough HP for it. Ooh, good opening turn right there. Uh, do I duplicate the five in order to get Magic Spear out? If I duplicate the six, I can get a Blizzard out this turn. Second Blizzard. The enemy rolls five dice, so freezing that many dice is pretty effective. I roll three dice naturally in a turn. And then I can duplicate as well, so I can end up with four. Which means I would be able to use two Blizzards in a single turn. Unfortunately, the enemy has the access to... Uh, to curse me. But they only curse me if they definitely roll a two. Uh, a two, sorry, a four, it looks like. Duplicate that. Get a second blizzard out there. I'm only able to use one this turn, though. It's fine. That's no fours. Might be blind, but it's fine enough. Uh -uh. Can't duplicate that. Can duplicate that one at the very least. And we just throw all of them up into the blizzards. Oh, lock two sixes there. That overwhelming turn would have been ridiculous. Uh, had to suspect that was going to be the case. All right. I just got to hope I'm not dead this turn then. Rose the six, thankfully. I could easily die next turn, but at the very least, I'm not cursed. I feel like we're pretty much guaranteed to now. Yeah, even with a one and a one on those final two, we were going to be fine. Beautiful. So we kind of pivoted there just for the sake of being able to kill that boss in particular, and it worked out fine. Uh, I'm going to take the upgraded spell slot here just because I feel like with all of the stuff we have... One of them has to be good upgraded. Although I really should have checked first. Uh, two usages of a golden mirror. Anything becomes a... Sorry, any even becomes a new die. Burning light has no restriction. Duplicate. Duplicate's a die with no minimum. Magic spear dealing four extra damage is good enough. And blizzard freezing extra dice also good enough. Both of those are really worth doing. Gargoyle. No elemental weaknesses that I'm aware of. Uh, the snowman, I'm going to want to fight with as much of the burning light as I possibly can. Singer and rhino beetle, again, back to no familiar weaknesses. So the gargoyle has... The gargoyle locks our dice. So I feel like because the gargoyle locks our dice, we're going to want hall of mirrors early so that I can try and get more dice just to get out of the trap of the gargoyle being able to lock down too much of my stuff. Uh... I'm going to gold cauldron upgraded. What am I looking for? Get another golden cauldron upgraded. Hey, there we go. Hall of mirrors. Do huh. so I charge a blizzard? If the enemy only rolls ones, they won't be able to damage me. Because this enemy only damages if they roll a three or a higher. Uh, sorry, a four or a higher, I think. If this enemy is only rolling twos, that's actually the most advantageous thing. But in lieu of that, I think I will start setting up the ability to freeze the enemy. Although, Blizzard probably should have been on Gold Cauldron there. That is to say, the upgraded space, just so that I could be freezing two at the same time. Alright. 
duplicate that, get another hall of... Actually, hang on. I'll... Hall of Mirrors there, and then I don't need another slot. I can just put it on the same one. Be greedy to get an extra. Roll that, looking for higher results as well. Lovely. And there we go. Way too many halls of mirror. And okay, way too many sixes. Let's drop both of those fives into the magic spear. Go for that, and then double on the blizzard as well. I don't think I need the crystal ball. Save that for another combat. <clears throat> we did actually end up taking a surprising amount of damage in this combat. I was pretty sure we were going to get out of that basically scot free, but uh, that's it. <clears throat> Hard no from the cargo there. Okay, so the snowman is up next, and we just, yeah, we just want burning light active and duplicate so that I can try and get more copies of burning light out early and just <clears throat> lay them flat out real quick. That's the second burning light I can get here on turn one. That's really good. Hmm. No, I don't need to hold mirrors up. And I can keep the crystal ball for a later combat. Just because this is... This is as easy as our combats get. <laughs> Having a direct counter for the enemy. <laughs> uh, Rerolls are finally back. And the final throw. So I'm pretty sure the enemy... Oh, no, wait, never mind. <laughs> Their odds, the thing they can't use at all, those were the ones that got locked by the burn. The evens, totally free. At the very least, the evens were very small rolls, so it didn't matter at all, but still. I gotta have something to grumble about. I love a good snowball fight, and that was really pretty good. Want to stick around to make snow angels? <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't have the time to... I've got to go kill a rhino beetle so I can get to a shop. If that's a sentence you don't hear every day... Ooh, so common. Right. Definitely crystal ball here. I'm probably going to be able to get the crystal ball back up before the end of the fight my figuring at least. Uh, I could get Magic Spear out this turn. Hmm. Duplicate being limited is a little bit of a problem. I'm going to put duplicate on gold cauldron now so that it's unlimited. I'll get myself a second two. Then I'm going to get two sixes. I'm going to make a hall of mirrors here. I shouldn't have done that on the same space. Hall of mirrors there. A duplicate on the five just so that I actually still do something reasonable by the end of the turn. Yeah, getting two extra dice for the rest of the combat on turn one seems decent. Okay. Uh, now I can finally duplicate... Yeah, those five so I can get the magic spear active. But I should get a gold cauldron in that slot right now and start re-rolling from the ones up. I don't need Hall of Mirrors. What I need access to is... What? Blizzard, right? So I need some sixes. I guess I just need sixes in general. The duplicate back up where the Hall of Mirrors are. And I have the ability to set up Magic Spear there. 
use it for a giant amount of damage, and then I can set up Blizzard, and I can use it for a decent amount as well. I'm not going to put it in the same space, though. Because I do want to access that magic spear next turn. It's almost certainly just an instantaneous kill for me. Oh, God. I can't for the life of me roll a six when I need one, eh? Oh, good. <laughs> At the very least, I can throw dice. I actually thought I had locked myself out of the ability to kill the enemy that turn. Not that it would have mattered. I still had enough HP. All right. Magic Dagger is reusable. Put Okay, so Magic Dagger, reusable. Two, do, ta uh, do two damage. This means that if I had the ability to get extra dice, like an infinite amount of extra dice, I would already have an, uh, a kill. But I guess you already have that as this character because you have the ability to throw your dice. Another burning light. Ooh, that seems a bit much. I'm going to heal before I go for this fight. Just because we heal after the fight anyway. That apple directly after the fight makes no sense whatsoever. So this enemy has the high notes, but she also weakens us. Being weakened can be really, really rough. So we got to think about what these abilities do when they are weakened. So I know Hall of Mirrors when it's weakened. Actually, you know what? I don't know what Hall of Mirrors does when it's weakened. Uh, when Duplicate is weakened, I know that it's a maximum of three that you get to duplicate the dice off. I still think overall it's probably going to be correct to just go for the Hall of Mirrors build. Especially with the amount of HP that I have, I think I can wait until I'm powerful enough. Six. Oh, perfect. Full of mirrors. Full of mirrors. Oh, yes. That's really, really good results for those weekends right there. How many magic spears gonna get off this turn? Not that many. Fine. Just because I don't have access to that many duplicates here. That's one more duplicate that I have access to now. Fine. Let's double the, the magic spear, put it in the correct slot. It does require a six to use, though. That's something I didn't consider. I'm going to have to make myself a gold cauldron and roll luckily on it. Oh, that's, a, that's a bugger. Yeah, that's my bad. Shouldn't have put myself in a position where I needed that that badly. Uh, okay, now I need to find a way to salvage the rest of this turn. I guess we... Burning light a couple times? I can also set up a duplicate there in order to get my second magic spear up. Seems useful. And I'll leave the extra duplicate available just so that if I get one six, I have access to both magic spikes. Mm, please don't weaken them though. They kind of become unplayable weakened. There's my six, don't weaken. Ah, you hit one of my magic spears. At least the duplicate getting weakened here didn't affect it at all. It's literally the same thing I was gonna do anyway. Uh, yeah. I kinda wanna leave the magic spear in there rather than, cause it costs two die in order to actually generate it. I think I kinda just have to leave it there taking that slot for the moment, unfortunately. So I can burning light a what? Just a four, and that's about all I can do. Fine, throw two dice at the end of the turn, we'll be okay. So the enemy is probably gonna get their high note off. Yeah. Okay. Really pleased I'm healing after this. 
god. Goodbye, singer. And hello back to you, Max HP. Another upgraded spell slot. We, I mean, Golden Cauldrons being upgraded is useful. I think it's prepared though. Gold Cauldron being prepared to set up for duplicate and Hall of Mirrors. That's, that's what we want. <clears throat> that's definitely, definitely what we want. Witch versus Scathich. Getting some strong Undyne vibes from both Scathich as well as the prior Aether. Uh, for the last caresses of the wind, the call of the birds in the air. Oh well, in the absence of any of that, a fight will do nicely. Scathish is immune to lock and freeze. Okay, so the blizzard is a little less useful than we're used to, but it's, it's fine. It's kind of to be expected. Uh, okay. How many Hall of Mirrors can I get off this turn? That's the question I gotta ask myself. I can get one, and I mean, it always takes two more die in order to get an extra Hall of Mirrors, right? So I may as well just do that right now. Unless I'm looking to duplicate this six, which I might be if I roll one of these threes into a four on the gold cauldron. Okay, good. Let's get a upgraded gold cauldron as well. Roll that three, getting another four. Good to see, good to see. Uh, and then we roll the five, I think as well. So we need to duplicate two at this point, right? So duplicate goes in the upgraded slot so that I can duplicate a low dice. And then I also duplicate a six. And that can be anywhere. end up with just one four at the end that seems pretty comfortable hall of mirrors six hall of mirrors a six and what i can't hall of mirrors anymore have i used that too many times are we not allowed are you not allowed to have more than six die in a single fight on a single t that doesn't make sense Surely we can get more, but I'm not going to push my luck on this. Okay. Those twos are kind of garbage right now. I can only use them to really make holes in mirror. So... Guess I'm just going to duplicate a bunch of fives? I can make those into magic spears, but then I can't really do anything with the magic spears yet. Should I generate two magic spears? Maybe. Doesn't seem like there's any risk in doing so. And then I probably don't want to make the rest of these halls of mirrors, so I'll just throw dice. Good. Very glad that's the one that got hit by the curse. So now I can duplicate that. Those damage. Uh, I'll also... Burning light there? Just to get a wee bit of extra damage off. 
my gosh, the enemy keeps rolling all of these ones. That's ridiculous. Because the higher results, I thought the one was pretty bad, but it's very little damage. And the higher results are way worse. Hmm. I might have lethal here. Gold Cauldron creates there. Roll this until I get a six. I get a six. That makes Blizzard. Put Blizzard here and then go straight for the damage for the kill. That's a good Scathage fight if I've ever said so. What a fight. You were amazing. Honestly, I just lost myself in the moment. I forgot I was even on camera. It was all about the spells and the dice. What a wonderful experience. Shall we find out whether you won a prize? Well, I mean, it's not really about the prize, is it? But also, yes. Time to spin the wheel. If you land on the prize, you get your heart desire. More social media followers, I think? That's right. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Hell of a long episode, but we've actually finally wrapped up one for the witch. Although apparently it was another loss on the wheel. Ugh, such bad luck. And oh, bad luck. It looks like that's a no. But don't you worry, you raided through to the next round and another chance to win! <laughs> yeah. Alright, at the very least in the second rotation, all of our characters got their win for the moment. My name is Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Dicey Dungeons. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.